Alright, so hello, welcome back to more Wario Land 1. Um, it turns out, thankfully, I have not missed any treasures yet. Uh, there's a few things I can update y'all on regarding this game. Uh, one, you only need 9,999 coins by the time you beat the final boss. Because, as I have learned, um, every treasure, uh, actually all 15 treasures, give you 90,000 coins. So, it's actually pretty easy to get the, uh, the best ending in this game. So, over the course of this journey, we have to get 10k coins somehow. I don't know why I assumed that the, um... I don't know why I assumed that the treasure didn't give any money. I thought they were just, like, kind of for show. Just, you know, collectibles. I'm not sure why I thought that. But yeah. And yes, I did misremember. There are 40 levels in this game, not 30. So there's actually quite a bit to this game. This is, a uh, course 14, so... We're only, like, you know, th a quarter of the way through, I'd say. Anyways, I have installed another mod. I have no idea if it works yet. It's basically a, like, slight quality of life mod. Actually, you can kind of see it already. It makes Wario faster. It basically gives him the speed of the jet. Of the jet boots. Or not boots. Uh, whoops. Wasn't paying attention. It gives him the speed of the jet helmet, I mean. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. So, yeah, it, it's just kind of a quality of life thing. It's going to make, uh, you know, my second playthrough of this game a bit more enjoyable. Oh, I kind of coincidentally stood on that one spot that fell off. What are the odds of that, huh? Oh, I guess it's garbage day again. I guess they're freaking doing something with a dumpster. I don't know how that, that, that noise is able to pierce through my window. I don't know. It's kind of annoying and weird. Yeah. The biggest uh, quality of life thing I'd say, though, oops, well, I guess we won't get to see it. Um, I'll probably, oops, I'll probably be able to show it off at one of these levels. I'll say at this point, I just reload my save state. <laughs> Fuck that noise. It's, it's more like a small little, uh, cheat, if anything. Basically, it allows you to smash through blocks quicker. Uh, if you have the bull helmet, you don't, like, you don't bounce back. Like, Wario doesn't recoil anymore. Which, um, I was contemplating on whether or not I wanted to use it or not, because, to me, I feel like I'm not getting the authentic Wario Land experience if I do that. Well, I can tell you one thing, I'm not, do I'm not getting the authentic Wario experience because I keep dying, bro. Wario's not supposed to die. He's supposed to be immune to death. <laughs> so I don't know what I'm doing. If we can get past this, we can maybe actually show off what's so great about this mod. Or you can jump high. Just keep holding up. There. Was that so? Was that really so hard? Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I might not. I might actually take the dragon. Cause now, um, you can go pretty. You can go pretty fast with the dragon now. Uh, checkpoint. I actually kind of want the checkpoint because this little's kind of kicking my ass. <laughs> I think your um poor momentum is still the same because. I think it's only his- I think it's only Wario's ground speed that's truly affected. Yeah. I don't know. I- I don't- I honestly don't know. <laughs> Can I get down there? Mmm, let's try. Oh yeah. Yeah, you can get down there real easy. And these are just semi-solids, so... Not really that bad. Oh, <laughs> that poor bastard. Things are getting, uh, pretty spicy here in Wario Land. Oh, boy. No, bro! So glad I saved. So glad I got the checkpoint now. This, this level is kind of a bitch, honestly. 
kind of glad, kind of glad this level doesn't have any treasure in it. I believe uh, Course 16 has treasure though. I, I kind of looked, I kind of got an idea on what levels have treasure and which ones don't. I know like most of the treasure is tucked away in the second half of the game actually, which I guess kind of makes sense. But it is good to keep an eye out for that. I don't know. My mind just keeps thinking there's going to be treasure in every level, but that's just not how that works. Oh, dang, it ain't my input, bro. Yeah, Wario, Wario's not having such a good time today. Maybe I should actually, maybe I should actually make use of the dragon helmet and kill those damn birds. <laughs> you know, that'd be, that'd be nice. You're ever, you're rarely ever in a small Wario form because... Every time you die, you respawn as Big Wario. I guess normal Wario. <laughs> it's really hard to tell which is the correct name because people always say like, "Oh, I'm you know small Mario. I'm normal Mario." Oh yeah, see there you go. There's some good use for the dragon helmet. That's why they give you it, bro. No, oh, the bird cucked me, dude. Dang you, bird. Why do you freaking cuck me like that? Now, screw those coins. We don't need those coins. We don't need that shit. It's just like a few coins. I've died way more times than I needed to. I've died more times on this level than I have on any of the other levels in this game. Which is just pathetic. This is only the third world in this game, man. Well, it's more like the secret world, you know? Although, according to the level order, this takes place after Stove Kitchen. Or not Stove Kitchen, uh, Mount SS Teapot. Where, where the fuck the. Where the fuck the mountain in the world is called? I forgot already. <laughs> Alright, screw that bird. We we're just going. Oh, well, you can also find hidden blocks with the dragon helmet, so I guess that's something nice you can do with it. Yeah, so dead ass dragon actually kind of helped there. Oh, these frickin' bozos. I've never been more glad to have a level over with. <laughs> I barely even got any money. But you know I'm gonna go gambling anyway. Yeah, let's go gambling. Fuck. <laughs> I'm still gambling. Four. Well, it's not like I got much money in that level anyway. Well, now I can get an idea of how much money I have currently. I got 1,700, so I have to get nine. I have to get 10,000 by the end of the game. Because if you want the best ending, you need 10k coins. Ba well, basically 10 coins. My 10k coins minus one, essentially. Also. I'm going to ruin this, uh... Actually, I don't know if it's intentional, but... This glacier, it has a face. It's got, like, two black eyes. It's got a mouth, two teeth. I can't tell if that's intentional. It has to be intentional, right? That's such a Wario thing to do. <laughs> oh, this, this is some good music, too. Man, this music... This, this OST is just a masterpiece, honestly. Whoops. Wait, hang on. I got a question. If I leave a level... Do I become Big Wario again? Or is that only when you, um, leave a- like, when you beat a level? Oh, you still- you start as Small Wario. So, I think I remember as a kid, I was Small Wario, like, all the damn time. And that's because whenever you, like, leave a level, like, prematurely, you stay as Small Wario, and you don't become Big Wario unless you beat a level, die, or, um, get a power-up. I just find it kind of funny how you become big once you die. It's like the opposite of what you'd expect. Yeah, but honestly, when you're playing the game, when you're, when you're playing the game um, like this, when you're playing in color and with this this like improvement. Yeah, notice how I kind of went a bit faster there? It'd be most effective if we had the, um, 
Oh, you've gotta be fucking kidding me, bro. I didn't know- I didn't know fucking Sonic was gonna do that, dude. I don't think I can break that now. <laughs> I need- I need to be Big Wario to break that. Oh, there we go. We get- we get the dragon. I wanna see what's in those blocks, man. I don't care if it's like just a heart or something. I wanna know. <laughs> yep, as expected. It really feels like uh it really feels like it came out a few years later, you know. The fact that this game is in color and it's got some little improvements, you know. It's pretty nice. I gotta be honest, I'm starting to warm up to the dragon a little bit. A bit better than I remember. Mm. I'm gonna risk it and not take the checkpoint. This one doesn't seem as egregious as the last level. <laughs> Oddly. Oh, there ha there's gotta be something secret up there, right? I don't know. Oh, so I can take, uh, take the garlic now. Okay, there's definitely something suspicious going on this level. Suspicious. And, uh, probably something I gotta do in the I don't remember how this level works. Can I break this? It's starting to feel like a Wario Land 2 level. Yeah, look at that! He just dashes through all of them now. Oh, there's a switch. So that, that's just kind of a quality of life thing, because, like, you're gonna break all of them anyway. Why should it be sluggish, you know? I'll take the heart. Yeah, these guys take way too long to charge up. Alright, so I'm gonna go back so we can go up here. This has got some... This has got the goods. Is there gonna be a secret exit or a treasure? I, I'm not sure yet. Okay, good to know you can hurt me from the front. Wasn't sure, honestly. <laughs> okay, so there's a... There's another thing we gotta activate. Yeah, pretty, pretty in-depth level, I gotta say. I don't remember this, um, Ice World being all that great, but it's actually a lot better than I remember. Alright, uh, I kinda wanna watch out for that pirate duck down there. He might, uh, he might come take my candy, you know, like he's Big Dick Randy. And I, I can honestly go without that. <laughs> I didn't know that shakes the ground. It shakes the enemies. What the fuck? That's so weird. <laughs> Anyways, now is a great time to go gambling. Yeah, gambling. Fuck. I regret gambling. Nah, keep gambling. I gotta, I gotta keep going, bro. Let's go gambling. Yeet. Aw, oh, dang. <laughs> That's gonna happen a lot, trust me. But it's so- it's gonna be so worth it when we, like, hit it big, you know? For all the times that we eat shit, we're gonna get that one really good payout. You know, we're gonna get, like... We're gonna get that one level where we get, like, 900 coins or something. It's gonna happen. I hope. Okay, so that's, uh, one level. Or should I, should, I, should I go back now? I'll, I'll go back to that level later. I want to do, like, you know, I want to do the levels just, you know, as I go. Instead of worrying about what's the correct way to go. Look at this cloud. He thinks he's so foony. Oh, I can't kill him. Alright, well, as long as I outrun him, uh, it'll be fine. Okay, this, this level kind of breaks a bit when uh, you have fast speed on. What we have in here? Never too obvious to tell what the correct way is. So 
Uh, you only stick to walls if you hold up. Oh. I didn't know the, the daggers stick to the walls like that. Hey, you good? You good, buddy? Eh, 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 eh. Okay, bye. Bro, I did that for one frickin' coin? <laughs> that was not worth it. One of these is gonna have something good in it, probably. Oh my god. Mario just doesn't want to fit in there. Hey, I got my gold back. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna take it slow. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> this gives me errors. <laughs> so is this where I'm supposed to go? Oh, there's a key in here. Hello. Is there anything up here? No, there's just- I just have a key now. Thankfully, Wario can carry keys <laughs> when he's going down ladders. Wait. I didn't go in there, did I? Oh no, there's nothing in there. Okay, so there's a locked door somewhere. Not sure where yet, but... We gotta keep an eye on that. No, no, oh my god, don't- Please don't fall in there. Please don't fall in that pit. Bears are very nerve-wracking. Would have guessed this would be it's real stressful. Okay, is the door is the locked door in here? I feel like it has to be. Alright, go away, Sonic. I don't want to deal with you right now. Oh, yeah. Can I can I kill that guy from below? Oh my god, I can. <laughs> Let's go. In any other Wario Land game, I'm pretty sure bouncing your head, or bouncing the key- Oh, this is just the checkpoint, what the fuck? Okay, sure. Came all this way, I might as well. Wow, a lot of effort just for a checkpoint. So imagine if half the level was just for the checkpoint, dude. Okay, um... We gotta, we gotta watch the- oh my god, bro. Jesus. Frickin' Sonic, dude, I tell you. Nope, Sonic, please. Okay, I'm safe now. This is weird. This is a one weird level. I mean, I'm not exactly sure where the, um, where the locked door is. But I've been going quite a while without one. Alright. I'll, I'll get some of the coins, you know. I can, I can go, I can get a couple of them. Oh, it's up there. Okay. Th this treasure has to be worth it then, since I came all this way to get it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, how funny it would be if I threw the key off into the pit and I have to go back and get it. So I believe this is... Treasure D? I could be wrong. Well, actually, I think Treasure D is in this world. It's just in the other pathway. Mm hmm But anyways, I kind of want to play this game for a while today. Oh shit, <laughs> that could have been very bad. I want to play this game for a while today, because um, I have nothing better to do today. And I, c I didn't get to play this game the other day anyways, so I think this will be a perfect, uh, perfect day to play more of this game. So what I might end up doing is I might do like an hour and a half, take a break, get something to eat maybe, and then come back and play more of this. I, I don't do that too often, but when I do, it is very fun. Uh-oh, seahorse time. Dang it, I could not dodge that. At the very least, I think the treasure uh, stays collected if you die. Okay. <laughs> the 
money didn't want to go in, apparently. So half that level was just getting the damn treasure, which that's kind of how I like Wario to be. I like half of the experience being like getting the treasure, because if you don't get the treasure, then you're not even playing a Wario game, bro. You're just playing a half-assed platformer. You know what I mean? <laughs> Wario without the treasure is like poutine without the gravy, you know? You're just eating french fries. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, yo, dude, I was just talking about hitting it big. Look at that. Look at that money. Look, all you gotta do is get, like, 100 coins on a level, and you can hit it big like that. Look at that. 872. Man, that's some good cash. It is painfully easy to max out that coin counter to 999 for a level. <laughs> if you um, happen to get, like, I don't know, like, 200 coins on a level? That can, I think that can happen, right? I know, you can't skip this. You got- you- you gotta be the Wario that you are and watch all that co all that money rise up. Cause numbers equals dopamine. <laughs> well, look at that. We're already a quarter of the way there. So, I have a good feeling we probably will be able to get to 10k by the end of the game. I mean, as long as good- good, uh, deeds like that keep happening. Alright, so we have another- we have another level. Watch out for Sonic. Man, what's with Wario and having, like, Sonic ripoffs? <laughs> First Yoshi's Island, and now this game. Actually, I think this game came before Yoshi's Island. My point still stands, though. I could probably break those if I had the dragon. See, now this would actually be a good level to have the dragon. I mean, dragon or the the, the jet helmet. Either is fine. Oh, yeah. Look at that. The jet helmet can crash through both of those. Alright, bye, Sonic. Dang. I don't know what triggers you to get, um... 10 coins when you go through a door. That'd be a nice thing to figure out. We're probably not ending the game with 99 lives. You know, we're not gonna pull a Proton John here, but it would be pretty nice if we did. Just a big fat staircase with not much in it. <laughs> I, think that, I think that is the great thing about this game. Also, there's a log going through that ice. I feel like this get with this game, each of the power-ups get to shine at least a little bit. You know, you don't really have um, you don't you don't really have one power-up that like completely outshines one or the other. They each have their own like strengths, which I think is really smart. Okay, let's uh go down here. Boom. Kind of making me believe there's something over there. Usually, if you see um, if you see a door like this, it's usually like a checkpoint or something. Yeah. Most often than not. This all doesn't seem too painfully difficult though. But I'll I'll checkpoint I'll get the checkpoint anyways. Cause why not? I'll probably have a link to the uh the Folly of Life mod in the description as well, starting with this episode, because, uh, this is why I started using it. Because, uh, you know, I want more people to play Wario Land this way. I almost, I, I usually like to, well, the damn crab, man, he, he cucked me again. It's a good thing I saved, or, well, when I, when I mean save, I mean use the checkpoint. Oh no, it's this guy again. <laughs> Mr. Snowman. Oh my god, there's a boss here, dude! Oh yeah, and then he gets a helmet. I don't know 
if I can beat this guy a small war. I think I have to reset. Okay, so here's the thing. This is the only boss in the game you can skip, I believe. But I want to actually kill him, so I'm going to uh, forfeit my money, and I'm going to respawn. Because I want that. I want that freaking money, bro. You get like you get like 300 coins for killing this dude, and it's really worth it. It's really worth your time. I'm not leaving empty-handed, bro. I want that money, damn it. Damn it. Oh, this is for hearts. I'll grab the hearts, I guess. Wait, I don't think I, th I don't think he bounced off the walls anymore. At least not as Jet Wario. D just fly off that guy. Yeah, so he goes in the water, he gets a spiky helmet, and you gotta, you gotta punch him from behind, I think, to get rid of the helmet. And then I think he gets, like, one more. He gets, like, two sets of hats. Oh, maybe not. Maybe he just gets faster. Alright, let's get all the... Well, you get lives. Okay, so you got- I got- I got, like, 12 lives for killing that dude. Okay, no, it's not money, then. I misremembered. Interesting. Hey, I'd say it's worth it, though. I won't have to worry about lives ever again. So, good for me. I'm getting that moolah, bro. I'm doing it again. Yo, 200! Let's go. <laughs> the gambler spirit. The gambler spirit in me. <laughs> so that was just straight up the boss of the world. Loki, I might make another cup of tea after this. <laughs> In my when I when I take my break, I might make another cup of tea. So that technically beats the world because I beat the boss, but we are far from done this world because we only did like what four levels. It wasn't very long at all. So we're gonna go back to this level and we're going to uh, get the normal exit. I'm just making sure I'm still recording. Yeah, good. Could have, could have, I could have gotten hit by that guy if I wasn't paying attention. Fuck you. Not gonna lie, I kind of miss bouncing off the walls with the jet helmet. This thing has a name, right? It's not called this. It's not called the jet helmet, is it? Let me, let me double check. Um, we can, we can, we can trust good old Mario Wiki for this one. Uh, what is it called? Jet Wario? Jet Wario, yeah, I had a feeling. Jet Wario, um... It's called the Jet Hat, not the Jet Helmet. I guess it is kind of a hat. <laughs> oh, dude! I never realized this. Hold on, let me uh, let me pull up the art for the for the jet hat real quick. The um the jet hat it's a duck. It's a duck beak. I had a how I never noticed that until now. Well, I mean, I didn't know until the wiki pointed it out to me, but yeah, it totally is. That really, that's actually really cool, because it fits into the whole theming of this game with, like, there being a bunch of ducks and stuff. Because there's ducks on the title screen, there's ducks in the minigames, there's ducks frozen in the ice. And this is called the Jet Pot, so it's a pot. I didn't even know what this was supposed to be, but I guess now I kind of see it. But you could not, you, could, you wouldn't be able to convince me that's a pot unless, uh, you know, you told me. Well, you, you still do kind of, uh, bounce off the wall. Okay. 
Okay, good. So that is still a thing that you can do. I'm, I'm glad because I kind of like that because it's actually kind of useful for um, reaching higher places every now and then. Sorry, Dragon. Whenever I have Jet, I'm sticking with Jet until I lose it. Oh, wait, I'm stupid. I didn't bounce because I was also touching the ceiling, that's why. Well, I guess the benefit of replaying levels to get the secret exit, or the tr get the treasure, is um, you get more money. <laughs> so that's a benefit, right? See, I do find it interesting, Th these pirate guys, they show up in Wario Land 2, but they have kind of less- they're kind of less important because of just how Wario Land 2 works in general. Because Wario Land 2, um, has, like, branching paths and, and different endings and stuff. So it kind of makes them slightly less important. But this is- I feel like this is where the pirate guys are at their best. Well, and, uh, Wario Land Shake It, but that's its own thing. Still love Shake It, by the way. I'm, gonna, I'm still gonna say that's my favorite Wario game. But all these other great games are great. And they're all, like, different, you know? All the Wario games have their own, uh, their own little thing. But Wario invented Bitcoin. Also, why is the chat there? Move it up a bit. Honestly, wouldn't surprise me if Wario invented cryptocurrency. Dude, I'm rich! Well, even if I come out of here with 70, I'll still be pretty happy, honestly. Yeet. Yeah, I'll take the 70. We're almost at 3k now. I will be honest, guys, once I beat Wario Land 1, depending on how I feel, I might also play Virtual Boy Wario Land this year and just get that one out of the way, too. Because that game, you can beat in, like, a sitting or two. <laughs> I might do, like, one really long session for that game because of how, um, short it is. You can beat that game in, like, two hours if you know what you're doing. This all also has a secret exit. Wow, already a key, dude. I just started the level. At least fat bastards. I find it really funny how, like, modern gaming is starting to, like... I don't I feel like, in a way, the ESRB is kind of getting a bit stricter, because they're having to tone down shit. Like, they... they you can't, like, you can't make fat jokes in games anymore. <laughs> I mean, I get it, but, man, I, I do miss the good old days when, uh, you can make... You can make some crazy jokes, and, you know, you could, get, you could like, you know, fool the ESRB, you know? <laughs> I really do miss that. Oh, wow. Okay, the key is right there, so... Let's go get that. So that should be, uh, Treasure D, I think. It's like a little shield! Dink. Now we got the first row of treasures. So... I, I could say that's like a third of the way through the game, then. Getting, uh, getting five of the treasures kind of marks the third of the waypoint through the game. We still don't know, um, we don't know where the secret exit is in this level. Fuck. I didn't mean to do that. I would have liked to keep my jet, my jet hat. Money. Oh, wait, you can go up here? I think this is where the secret is. <laughs> Or the secret exit is. Did I accidentally find the secret exit? Also, I don't remember. I seem to remember you being able to kill enemies with coins. Am I making that up? You know, we're about to find out. Well, it'd be nice if you came over here. Yeet. But you can kill them with the coins. 
Oh my god, you can kill the enemies with the coins. I think, unless that, unless that was a weird interaction, I can't tell. Bro, look how fucking fast Wario's going now. See, I'm telling you, I don't know what triggers that. I think it's just like more treasures makes them go faster. It's weird. Bro, am I gonna come out of this fucking minigame with zero coins? <laughs> nope, four coins. Why am I even bothering? I only have five, bro. Yeah, I'm not even gonna bother with that. I got four coins, dude. I'm so rich now. <laughs> okay, so that was the secret exit. Man, this place has so many different pathways. Okay, well, let's just do this level then first. This is course 18. This is where like half the levels are in the game, I swear. Oh, you're Sonic again. This level also has a treasure. Bro, I'm telling you, like, all the treasures are in the later part of the game. Well, this isn't even really that much later. I love this Joe Beal music. Well, hang on, let me check what's in this door first before I go on ahead. Oh, this just takes you back out. Okay, well, what about this side? What about this door? Where does this take me? No, this takes you to a different part of the level. Ow. There's something up here, though. Sonic's not all that threatening. Oh. <laughs> Random thwomp appearance. Oh, I, I gotta get that somehow. What in God's name's happening here? Wait, hang on, let me, let me take the fall. Is this where the switch is? Boom. We got some hearts, too. This is a very peculiar looking room. Why is it red? <laughs> I don't know, but I kind of like that. This is just a death zone waiting to happen right here. I'm amazed I didn't die there. What's up, Thwomp? Th I, those guys have to be Thwomps, right? There's no way they're not. Also, I love the pause screen, by the way. <laughs> oh, it even tells you how much money you have in total. And it tells you what course you're on if you pause. Oh, I probably should pause, because there's actually a timer in this game. I kind of forgot about that. Uh, I, I did ask, forgot there was a timer until, like, 18 levels in. <laughs> Hold on. Um, That is a thwomp, right? Um, unless he, do unless he has a different name. Like, chances are he's probably called, like, Dosun in Japanese or something. Uh, let's see, Wario. Well, he's in Wario's woods. He's not- that, that is not a Thwomp, then. What is this enemy? It's gotta be called something similar to it, like, Dosun, probably. Um... Enemies and obstacles. I'll find out. I'm curious. Um... <laughs> Buckethead. That's what those snowmen dudes are called. They're called Bucketheads? Um... Let's see... I'm looking, I'm looking. <laughs> well, I can tell you the hedgehogs are called Harisu, which I'm pretty sure Hari means, like, spiky. Or no, I think it's just, like, hedgehog. Is that what it means? Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay. Well, what are, what are the other enemies in this game? Um... Hmm. I'm looking. There's a spider enemy. Pengkun is the name of those pe fat penguin dudes. <laughs> the the, the freaking seahorses are called pinwheels for some reason. Okay, they're called pouncers. What are they called in Japanese? 
Okay, instead of do soon, it's do don. Okay, that's what that's what I I had a freaking feeling, bro. So these are not thwomps, these are pounders. Or pouncers. So uh oh well, yeah that 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 uh that adds up, doesn't it? Can I get even can I even get through here? Do I have oh you know what? Dude, I probably gotta hit the switch again. It's gonna make it's gonna make getting this key obnoxious, but it's gonna be so worth it. I don't I don't care. I'm probably gonna keep calling these dudes thwomps anyway. <laughs> probably we should probably get rid of all the all the I'm just gonna keep calling them snowmen. Sure, we can call them bucket heads. I mean, it, their name isn't wrong. Well, here's the thing. If I get rid of them, are they just gonna respawn or what? Typically, enemies don't respawn in this game unless, like, there's a specific criteria. Okay, we have a problem. Can I still get out of here? Okay, this is kind of a problem. I actually don't know how to get out of here now. Oh. <laughs> you can do this. I don't know if this is the intended method, but... Yeah, you can do this, I guess. And then I can throw the key up there, right? Okay, the question is, will the key stay there? I have an idea. I'm gonna hit the switch again, and I'm gonna be sad if the key's not there, dude. We're about to find out. Oh my god, the key is still there. Let's go. That that has to be what you have to do. Well, what else are you supposed to do? I don't know. Okay, so that's how we get past here. Hey, Sonic. Wait, this is still here. Huh? Well, how do I get past here? Do I have to crouch under it? Oh my god, I'm so dumb. I did all that for nothing. <laughs> I thought- I thought that was, um... I thought that would get rid of the, uh, the blocks. I guess not. You have to crawl under it. Well, uh, so much for that. I made that way more complicated than it needed to be. But hey, I did a fun little challenge out of it, so you know what? That's, that, that's what is important, I guess. Maybe if someone makes, like, a Wario Land 1 ROM hack, they can implement that somehow. So clearly they are relatives of Thwomps if they're called Dodon. <laughs> I love that name. So, I think, do I need to hit this switch again? Now I just have to figure out how to get out of this level. Free bucket helmet. I'm gonna need the, uh, I'm gonna need the frickin', uh, Horns, am I? Oh, speaking, you shall receive. Actually, now that I think about it, I'll get a ring out of time. <laughs> I didn't even realize there was a timer, bro. I didn't even realize they have sped up versions of the stage themes. Bro, get out of the way, Sonic. Well, now I'm starting to feel like Warland 4 with all the, the, the now the hurrying up. I can probably beat this in a hundred seconds. Not if Sonic gets in the way. Get out of the way, Sonic. Oh no, Buckethead's back. Okay. 
No, I didn't even mean to kill him that way, but yeah, sure. See, I almost, I almost ran out the timer with my stupid antics, bro. Yeah, we got some, we got some more, uh, some more YouTube notifications. Uh, nothing good. Yay. <laughs> I don't know, I'm I'm pretty picky when it comes to what shit I watch on YouTube. Like if it's from a game I haven't played, I'm typically not gonna watch it because I'd rather play the game myself first. I don't know. That's just how I am. Well, then again, I did watch the Silent Hill 2 remake, but I'm probably not gonna play that for a long time anyway. I'll take a I'll like a hundred twelve. So I got six of the treasures now. Potentially, I may have to do a bit of grinding off screen, but who knows? Okay, so that doesn't that doesn't go anywhere. So we gotta go back here now and get the normal exit. Always me getting what? what? Oh, the key is gone now, right? I got the treasure already. You can't recollect treasure, duh. Frickin' penguins. Yeah, I man, I got, I got 29 lives now. I'll be good. I won't have to worry about, uh, lives ever again. Unless I eat shit in the next few levels. What was in here again? Was this the, uh... Um... I don't need to- I need to- I don't need to be in here. <laughs> I don't know why I'm bothering with this. So you can jump on those guys' heads. The wiki pointed out, like, even though they have horns on their head, you can jump on them, so... Thank God for that, right? Okay, so that's where the secret was. I kinda just happened to jump through the ceiling. I wasn't even trying. But I'm very glad I did. <laughs> nice, nice one. I'm not gonna get I'm not gonna get the money from these guys. Okay, so why was there a checkpoint there? When the end of the level is like right up there. <laughs> Well, the problem is I can't get up there right now, so maybe that's why. You could probably do some cheesing with enemy bouncing, though. Which will be fun. But let's do the level properly. Yeah, I don't know what the point of the checkpoint is. The checkpoint is way too uh, close to the exit. Yeah, all this money, dude. Plus, I wouldn't have had more moon me for the exit. I love how fast Wario gets. I think it is the treasure that's making him faster. I don't know. It's it's such a weird mechanic in this game. It's like scientists are trying to explain, like, how a certain law works. And over here, I'm trying to figure out and explain why does Wario run faster the, the more you progress through the game. <laughs> I lost all my money, dude. I got two coins. And that's gonna happen. I will have to grind if that shit keeps up. So, we got another... Oh wait, that just takes me to the boss. Okay, so I think we are done the iceberg then. No more iceberg theory for, for this Wario. So that took a little over 50 minutes. Actually, no. I started the stream before that. It took like 49 minutes or so. So now, uh, war- I guess that you could consider that World 3, and then this is World 4. Stove Canyon. Because this is level 20. So, technically that's the order they want you to do things in. Oh man, I remember- I remember this music now. This will also kind of benefits from, uh, the speed mod that I have on. But knowing my dumbass, uh, it's not gonna matter much. Oh, 
Oh, there's a key in there, dude. I'll come back for it. I don't know if it's worth dying for. Is it? I mean... Well, let's get an idea for what I need to do. Oh, here's the star. <laughs> I, I keep forgetting the star man is in this game. Just because it's not in any of the other Wario games. Well, it's kind of in Wario Land 4, I think, right? No, I don't think it is. Wario Land 4 doesn't have invincibility. So where is this? Where's the lock? The lock is up here. So that's where we'd need to bring it, then. Gotcha. Bruh. Oh, the level's over already. Dude, that was like the shortest level ever, bro. What the hell? Hey, if I get that treasure, that'll make Wario go faster. <laughs> he's gonna go, like, he's gonna, like, go zoom. He's gonna zoom around in, like, one second, bro. Mooney. So, yeah, I bought these, uh, these pumpkin muffins yesterday, and they're really good. Although, they have this weird creamy filling in the middle, and I don't know even what it is, because I'm not, like, too familiar with the anatomy of pumpkins. <laughs> but, uh, it's okay. I don't really like the filling too much, but I like the rest of the, the muffin, though. Oh. Well, thankfully, this level doesn't have a secret exit. Actually, I don't think most of these. I think, like, there's only gonna be, like, one secret exit in this world. Okay, well let's uh let's not fuck around this time. Let's uh that's why they give you a you know garlic at the start level because they want you to get that key. All right, let's get that damn key and dip. So that's what this pathway is for, is if you're doing the key route. I guess it, I guess it's nice playing the level twice, because I get to experience both pathways. Oops. Dang, dang, uh, dang spear guy. Yeah, I kind of make it kind of makes a joke of this level. <laughs> With the faster speed on. I mean, I don't mind. <laughs> oh, that's why there's a garlic there. Because you can't, um... I forgot. If you ever happen to find a treasure as Small Wario, you're just screwed. Because War Small Wario can't open treasure chests. Which really sucks. <laughs> Oh, and that's more proof that they want you to do this world after, uh, the, fr the I iceberg. Because, uh, yeah, that that's the first treasure of this world. Yeah, here. I got 32 more coins. We're gonna gamble some more. Yes, more gamble. Let's go gambling. Woo! I'm getting my ass handed to me already. Boom. Dang, I'm losing all my cash. You wanna- you wanna do one more? You wanna do one more wait? Yeah, okay. Four coins. At least I got the treasure. But here's what I'm thinking. If I get to the, um... If I get to the final level, and I don't have 10 coins, that's when I might, like, grind off-screen or something. <laughs> I don't know. Well, here's the problem, right? I don't want to get to the finale and have to grind, because then I have to split the final level up, and that'd be kind of awkward. So I don't know. I don't know what I'd do about that. It's something I'll have to consider. Here's this music again. Or is this different music? It's it's like lower pitched, interestingly enough. Do 
Yeah, this is a really cool world. Oh my god. I was not expecting that. Yeah, look at look at you, dragon. You're getting some uses. Yeah, this is definitely the same song, but lower pitched. I don't sure. I'll grab uh, I'll grab these blocks. I'll get these three hearts. I think you can only get with the dragon, actually. Dragon's good for hitting blocks far away from you. So. Like I said, it has its uses, but it is definitely the least useful of the three power-ups. Oh. <laughs> he's, he's gone. All these platforms falling. No, dude, why? I was about to frickin' spit at him. <laughs> spit at him. Yeah, I was about to spit at him. That's what, that's what Wario does. He spits on people, apparently. I'm greedy. I want that extra coin. Eat. Does that count as a death? Yeah, it does. That was just... That was a really easy level. <laughs> There's nothing to it. I didn't even need the checkpoint, bro. I should have kept my move off. Not a great start. <laughs> Not a great start to that. Definitely not a great start. Man, I'm just gonna lose all my cash again. I'm more, I'm more accepting of that, though. You know, the further... Oh, I happened to get I got three weights in a row, dude. Got no cash. Wario's like, he's not getting any money. I might I might have to grind after all. This is gonna keep up. If I want that good if I want that best ending, I'm I'm willing to put in the effort. Because I never got the best ending as a kid. So I actually wouldn't mind going for that. Okay, so this is also a um This is also a uh just a normal ass level. I don't know if this has a treasure in it. We're about to find out. I mean, generally, as long as you're hitting all the blocks, you'll probably find the key somewhere. Bro, what was that, man? Fucking bullshit. <laughs> yeah, I hear ducks. Freaking, I, I freaking got Mega Man Ford over there. With the stupid blocks. <laughs> stupid lava, I mean. I don't know why I said blocks. A typical Mega Man thing where, like, you're about to jump over a pit, and oops, an enemy drops out and sends you into the pit. It's, it happens so goddamn often, man. It's like, why is it always gotta be that way? Dude, it's just a checkpoint. They always have to checkpoint in these, like, little, like, random rooms off to the side. Bro, it happened again! You know, I'm taking this guy. I'm taking this couch. Eat. Nice. Wait, I, did I even kill him? I, I didn't kill him, bro. Well, you can jump on top of these ladders. Nice. Is this where the key is? Well, I don't even know if there's a key in this level. I kind of prefer not find. I kind of prefer not knowing if there's a key in the level. Well, there's a wing or a jet. So you, you can fly across and get those coins if you're greedy. I mean, I guess to be fair, Wario is greedy, so he'd be he'd be pretty down to do that. Bro, stop! I can't enjoy my freedom, man. And now there's birds too. Oh, never mind, we're at the end of the level already. Okay.
Mm, so should I beat this world? Actually, I might even have time to do a bit of uh, the SST Cup if I beat this world quick enough. Because this world doesn't seem very long at all. There's not really that many secrets. Not a lot, not a lot of treasures, so levels are pretty quick, honestly. Every time, every now and then, Mario just throws you a bone and he's like, "Here, have some, have some short levels instead, you know." So we're almost a third of the way to our our coin count that we need. Okay, this is a secret level. See, I know there's gonna be at least one of them, one of those types of levels, and oftentimes a secret level or a level with a secret exit will also have a treasure in it. Although that's not always the case, but that tends to happen. We got some mine parts. These freaking bat guys. Ooh, that was a close one. I, li I like this goofy ass music. Oh, yeah. These bouncy platforms. Forgot about those. Yeah, I'll take the I'll take the checkpoint. If the level doesn't really have a lot of pitfalls and not like not a lot of ha not a lot happening, I might not go for the checkpoint. But this one definitely has risks in it, so I'm uh, I'm gonna be careful. Heart and garlic. Oh, sometimes they give you garlic, and sometimes they give you the bowl, like, straight away. All it really affects is if you're small Wario or not. Otherwise, it doesn't matter. Man, it's a good level for getting money, though. Definitely say that. Oh, that's the secret exit, I think. So we gotta play this level twice then, regardless. Alright, I mean, I'm fine with that. I know where it is now, at least. Look at how fast he is now. He's zooming, bro. <laughs> you know, I think that's how that- I think that's how it works. I think every treasure Wario gets, he gets faster. It's either- it's either that or every level he beats, I don't know. But that is a really funny gameplay mechanic. It's like, ooh, Wario- Wario goes faster now because you're farther into the game. That's generally what I tend to notice, is he... The further you get into the game, the faster he goes. He, he's just like... He's so eager to get his cash, you know? Alright, another hundred. If we can get 3,333, then we will um, officially be a third of the way. And we're already halfway through the game, so... Well, level-wise, yes. Treasure-wise, no. Because there is more treasure that we have not gotten yet. So I think it's safe to say this game will probably take about... episodes? Four or five. Depending on, depending on how it goes, if I need to grind or not. Oh, Wario! So you, didn't, you didn't want to make that jump, man. I guess it's gonna turn into fucking Boomhauer from Sakana Hill. Nah, nah, man, you, you didn't want to take that jump, man. <laughs> Honestly, these bats aren't really that bad. They're, they're basically just reskins of the birds from earlier in the game. Just they fit the cave aesthetic more, I suppose. Oh, I did it again, dude. Okay, just just make that jump, yeah. I got 31 lives. So I'm a third of the way to Proton John level. You know, I don't even need the fucking minecart, bro. I'm gonna make this jump without it. Screw it. Killing enemies isn't bad, because, uh, if you kill enemies, you get extra heart. 
Like, I think, I think the secret's coming up soon. I think it's, uh, this one right here. Oh, but I need to be fucking big to get it, dang it. Well, I guess I'm replaying this level again. I might as well just beat the level so I can get more money. <laughs> Okay, so you can't get hit, because you need to hit that block then, to even... Well, maybe I could have gotten up there, but I'd rather... You now I want to know what's in that block, really. Mm. That right bucket is never going to get any use. <laughs> Very sad, I know. Yo, we got a hundred more coins, dude. We're, we're a third of the way now. Oh, well, we got almost 100, but it's good enough for me. Hey, why not get some of my grind out of the way right now, you know what I'm saying? 3,400. That's good. Alright, we're playing this all again. It doesn't even take very long, so I don't mind playing it a third time. And plus, I can get more moony that way. Take a jump, do do do, because that's the Wario way, you know, you gotta take a jump. Oh yeah, finally, Thomas Game Docs did a video on why doesn't Wario sound like he used to. <laughs> that's the mo that's the video we all needed, because, you know, Wario is the man. You know, he's my favorite Mario character for a reason. <laughs> yeah, my, my favorite Mario character used to be, like, a really weird and boring pick, like, Shy Guy or something, but no, I, I, can, I can definitely say with confidence, like, yeah, Wario is the best. <laughs> Wario is absolutely the best Mario character. And that's why I always play him in Mario Party. And the great thing is that I think Wario is, like, one of the few Mario Party characters that's in, like, every single Mario Party game. If we don't count the weird spin-offs, like, Advance or whatever, obviously. Because a character like DK, he's technically not in Mario Party 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9, and 10. Actually, I think he might be in 10, but he's not in 9. Dude, I fucked up, bro. Can, I, can, can the minecart respawn, actually? I did not know there was a Kaizo block there. Does the, does the minecart not respawn? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's not good. <laughs> That's not good. I gotta replay this level a fourth time? You you gotta be shitting me. Wario, come on. Wario, no! I gotta replay a fourth time, dude. Well, here's where all the playtime of this game, or this episode comes from. Wario falling into a lava pit 20 times to try and get a secret exit. Didn't the same thing happen to Vine Sauce when he played this level? Didn't he, like, try to get that secret exit, like, 20 times or something and failed? Or someone else I watched, maybe. I don't know. I just remember this level kind of being a bitch, and I remember getting frustrated at it a lot. Hmm. I could be misremembering, or maybe it's like a... What is the opposite of Deja Vu again? I forgot. It's, it's like that, though. It's like when you experience something that technically hasn't happened. Yeah, Wario, like, his, his momentum just gets killed at the apex of his jump. DUDE! Those fucking bats, bro. They're fucking gimping me, dude. I gotta replay a fifth time now. How many times are you gonna play this fucking minecart level, bro? I'm not a Minecraft YouTuber. I don't, you know, touch people. <laughs> I know Wario doesn't either. He's not that kind of guy. The only thing he wants his hands on is Moony, dude. That's just the kind of guy Wario is, you know? He's actually a really nice guy once you get to know him. I don't know where I'm going with this bit. It, it, I don't even know if this even is a bit. It's just a thing I'm talking about. You know? Well, so you can fall through the gaps. 
Alright, how about we leave this garlic there in case I get gimped by one of these stupid imps again? Don't be hasty now. Okay. Okay, we're coming up on the we're coming up on the part now. No, 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 Wario! Wario, bruh! Man, I should really start taking that checkpoint, honestly. It's really hurting me not to grab it. I keep accidentally activating the minecart, dude, without, like, meaning to. Okay, th this time, this time, we're taking the fucking checkpoint. And watch this also be the attempt that I, uh, you know, don't need it. <laughs> Whoops. Eh, fuck it, I'll grab the checkpoint anyway. Since I, I refuse to use save states. Could have done this like five attempts ago, honestly. Don't know what I'm doing. And look, there's, there's like ten coins in here, so... They pretty much hand out the checkpoint for free. I like how I go so fast the minecart despawns. <laughs> There's just something really humorous about that, honestly. I mean, in theory, you could come to this level with a jet helmet and, uh, you know, do it that way. Wouldn't be bad, actually. Alright, let's not touch the minecart by accident. There. There. See, I didn't need the checkpoint that time. So, uh, yeah, so I actually did not need the... I could have beaten the level multiple times already, but... It doesn't satisfy me unless I beat it with the bull. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, man. I, I just wanted to get it. But we're done with that, finally. I think I probably will split the uh, episode after I uh, beat the boss of this world. We can keep things a little on the shorter side, you know? And then we can do the SST Cup. Well, there's the SST Cup, and then there's, uh, Parsley Woods, or whatever it's called. And then there's, uh, you know, what's it called? The Sir oh, yeah, Syrup Castle, I think, is the final world. I remember, um, the SST Cup having a lot of, um, having a lot of, like, secrets. Oh, actually, I think once we do the boss level, we're gonna be 25 levels in. Oh, there's already a lock a lock in here. I didn't even started the level, mate. Uh, hold on, hold on, I need to sneeze. Alright, sneeze sneeze completed. That was a nasty sneeze, bro. <laughs> So I gotta find the locks, or I gotta find the key somewhere. Uh, who fucking knows where that is? I can't even get in there. I mean, unless I be small, Wario, I guess. The shit is happening here, oh boy. So, I can't get up there unless I... Maybe I'm supposed to flood this area. This is, a very, this is a very interesting level already. Duck, duck, can you get me in here? Woo! Oh wait, there's more doors. I want to see what's in each of these. So something tells me I need to, um... Oh boy. Yeah, I, I need to, I need to hit that button. So this floods this area. Well, so one of these has the key in it that I'm assuming. Oh, found it. That was easy. Well, I mean, I guess it figures it'd be in the final door that I check. 
And then I'm assuming one of these doors probably takes you to the end of the level. Oh man, I can tell that I can tell designers had a lot of fun making these levels though. These are really, really nice looking levels. Oh look at that, we got a we got a trophy. So let me let me see. What are all these treasures supposed to be? Okay, so it looks like we have like um a, a bugle or something, a harp. Uh, it didn't even let me look at the rest of the treasures. I'll probably I'll look at them after the level. But here's here's a fun idea. I'll I'll guess what each of the treasures are supposed to be, and then I'll consult the Mario wiki and see how if I'm right about any of them. Wait, this room? Oh, this yeah, this room isn't flooded now. So it reverses the effects in each of the levels. Interesting. I guess if you want, you can go get the heart. Wait, what the hell is going on in here? Yo, a hundred coins! And a wing. I keep I keep calling it a wing, it's a jet. Oh, this, this floods the room again. Wait a minute, though. Does that mean that I... Does that mean I have to hit the button again? I probably do, don't I? Yep, I do. Okay. Welp. Let's go do that real quick. Also, out of curiosity, what is over here? Is there anything over there? Oh, I, I don't want to risk it, because if I do, I'm going to regret it, and I'm going to, you know, have to replay the whole level again. Uh, is this door number two? I think this is. Yes, this is the right door. I'm supposed to deal with this room. I don't know, but I'm skipping that. There's another pathway here. Oh, shit. Is it just for coins? Do I have to hit the switch to leave? Well, technically, yes. What's this? Heart? Okay, well, technically you don't need to hit that switch if you have the jet, like I do. So thankfully we don't have to hit the button again. So they force you to hit the switch to even leave the leave the room and go back. That's kind of silly, don't you think? Boom, we got a heart. Yeah, I have to hit it again to leave. But hey, at least there's some good treasures at the end of each of these rooms. Like eight coins. Thrilling. Well, I guess that coin is gonna rot for all eternity now. Uh, on the bright side, at least I can get this heart now. Okay, and then I need to. Uh, I don't need to hit it for that room now, so I guess I can just go in here. Well, hang on. We gotta loop back around and go across that pit. Oh boy, I'm kinda nervous about this though. This is just a death trap waiting to happen. This has to be where the end of the level is. Oh, there, it's just the end of the level, okay. No special frills or anything. I think that's the most money I've ever gotten at level 124. <laughs> it's pretty damn good. This is gonna be the one where I lose all of it. Because that's just how this game goes. Yep. About to lose all of my money, all my hard earned cash down the drain. Just like that. Okay, at least I got some of it back. I'll take 62, I guess. So unfortunate. I could have had so much money there. That might be not- that level might not be bad for replaying. That level that has, like, the ducks in it is, like, a really good one for replaying, because they each give, like, 30 coins each. You can get- you get a shit ton of money that way. Alright, well, level 25. Let's see, uh... Let's see how this one goes. This one will have a, a treasure in it. Let's just 
you know, you gotta go straight to the boss. Oh, and I guess on the bright side, um... We beat the, when we beat the boss, we'll get, uh, the moon knee. Oh, there, and they don't hearts a lot, that's for sure. Yeah, they, they gave a lot of hearts out now, mate. Yeet. Checkpoint? I will take the checkpoint. Boss, the boss levels? Yeet. Oh, poop, dude. The boss levels, you almost always want to take the checkpoint, because you never know what's gonna happen. Oh. <laughs> Should I go back for that dragon helmet now? Maybe. Ooh. Risky. What? Bro, I wasn't even trying to jump into that bastard. Well, there goes my Moony, all gone. Oops. Oh, well, now I'm very glad I got the checkpoint. I kind of cucked- oh. I kind of cucked myself, because I threw that guy- I threw that guy next to that other guy, and when I walked out the door, he fucking stabbed me. <laughs> you know, it's like walking into a back alley, and there's just a guy there, he, he comes and shanks you. Not cool, man. But I did it to myself. That's like if I pl that's like if I planted a hitman on my safari. It's like if I planted a hitman on myself, and I end up being surprised still on why I got my ass kicked. I mean, that's basically what what happened. All right, we're we're speed running this. I don't know. Man. It really feels like I'm cheating with this. But I also kind of like it, because it makes me feel more power- it makes Wario feel more powerful than he really is. Dang it, mate! I need that power-up. Okay, don't jump into this idiot again. Yeah, I knew there was gonna be a fireball. Uh, is there no fireball here? I know, um, those platforms can kind of eat your jump sometimes. It's pretty risky. Is it, is it the boss already? Oh, great. And I have no- Oh, I forgot how weird this dude is. Yeah, this guy- this guy is great. And you gotta- you gotta, like... You gotta throw, um, this onto his head. Or just hit him with it. So you gotta kill him before he breaks the, uh... Um... The rocks. Oh, there you, there you go, he's dead already. Give me the moon knee, dude! I need that moon knee. Yeah, 121, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's why he's the GOAT! Yeah! Yeah, yeah! I'm like, like fucking Roy. <laughs> I'm talking like Roy now. In freaking New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Oh. At least I know I'm gonna come out of this with at least 242 coins now. Alright, we're going all in. We're going all in, man. We're going all in. We're going all in. No! Okay, I'll take that 240. 240's good. I could have ate 800, though. Oh man, imagine how nice that would have been. That was good. That was a good episode, I'd say. Hell yeah. Oh, look at that. We're at 3.7k. Pretty good. Yeah, so we got two worlds done in one episode. It's, it's pretty good progress. So, 
I remember, I think this, th I never got this far as a kid. I think I might, well, actually, I think I did, but I remember when I first played this game, I never got to SST Cup. I think I got stuck on Stove Canyon, and I just never touched the game again. It, it was weird. But for now, I think I'm gonna call this an episode. So, yeah, as always, guys, make sure to like and subscribe to YouTube and Twitch. And, um, I'm gonna take a little break, and I'll be back with another episode. So, um... Yeah, see you guys in like maybe 10-20 minutes.